Hey guys, Drew with Because Jitsu here. We're going over a test today. And the test is going to be what are the nastiest submissions in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as rated by pain. I have here with me today, my lovely, willing, hapless volunteer, Justin Lewis, who is the animator for the beginning intro to our videos. If you've watched any of our videos, he made that intro. And we are going to run a test starting at the bottom of his body and working our way up with some of the nastiest submissions in all of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And at the end, Justin will rate them all by pain. All right, first on the list, starting at the bottom of the body, we're working with the foot and we're gonna start with an outside heel hook. We're gonna start it from an outside ashigarami, come down, we're gonna put the toes right in the armpit, hook nice and tight right here, get a butterfly grip. I'm going to lean and twist in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, I can take more. You can take more? A little bit. Make sure you tap on these. Right. I don't want you breaking. Oh, right. I got to tap. I forgot that part. Oh. <laughs> so, how would you rate that on a scale of 1 to 10 for pain? A decent 7. A decent 7. <laughs> Number 2 on the list, inside heel hook. This time we're starting from a saddle position. Getting a nice triangle, nice and tight up on the quad. I'm going to find his toes in the armpit again. Dig nice and deep blade of my hand underneath that Achilles. Get a butterfly grip. I'm going to belly down and dip in on this. Six. Six? Yeah. Okay, we got a six for the inside heel hook. Number three on the list, still on the feet. We're going for a toe hold, which is essentially a forced sprained ankle. Coming underneath the foot, finding the toes, making a figure four grip and bring it close to the butt as I twist that ankle. That's a that's a seven or eight for sure. We got a seven or eight on the toe hold. So moving slightly up the body now from the foot, we're attacking the knee proper, which means we're going to be hitting the knee bar. This is an arm bar for the leg. I'm going to find his heel right here, wrap around, grab my own shoulder, pinch my feet in and start extending. Oh, I think I felt a pop on that one. <laughs> I think it was a good one. Bit of a pop. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, yep, yeah, that's like an 8. An 8 out of 10 for the knee bar. <laughs> Next on the list of nastiest submissions in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the twister. So we've worked our way from the foot to the knee. Now we're going to hit the center of the spine as we twist his body in two directions at the same time. You ready? I think so. Coming under the head. Uh. Going to catch this right by the ear, oh. extend and twist. Oh. Wait, do a little more. A little more? A little more. You can get this even worse when you come here like oh, this. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Nine. Next on the list, we're starting on the arms from the bottom to the top. The bottom being the wrist. So we're going to start with what's called a box lock or a gooseneck lock. I'm going to come around, figure four right here, cupping in. I'm going to fold that wrist in. Oh, Definitely a painful one. That's a nine, man. Nine for the box lock <laughs> is a very common one for the scream tap. <laughs> Next is another wrist lock, and this is my personal favorite, the bent elbow wrist lock. This can be hit in different positions in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but for the sake of this demo, we're just going to start it from standing to show you the power behind it. Rotating the wrist, grabbing right at the meat on this side. I'm going to put two or three fingers in the inside of the elbow and oh. bend down. <laughs> Monkey. Ah, oh, 9.8. 9.8. <laughs> Next on our list, we're going to be moving up the arm to the elbow. 
Everybody knows an arm bar. They know that they suck. Just look at Ronda Rousey. She's breaking arms left and right. One of the worst arm bars that I find personally is a belly down arm bar. So we're gonna go to that one this time. I'm gonna drag his arm, move my body and come over top. Right here. <laughs> Sounds like it's got a reaction. Uh, I'd rate that a nine. A nine for the belly down arm bar. <laughs> All right, we're moving now from the elbow up to the shoulder. We're gonna start doing some shoulder locks, starting with the classic, the Kimura. Wrist control. Over top, I find my own wrist. I'm going to set it beside his rib and then really preload some pressure by pulling up and then twisting. Ooh. Ooh. Give it an eight, eight and a half. Kimura is between the eight and eight and a half for pain. All right, staying with the shoulder, we're moving in the other direction. We're gonna hit an Americana. Similar lock, but in the opposite direction. Gonna get the wrist up here, pinning it with my own wrist, elbow against the head, slide under and opposite to the Kimura. I'm gonna preload the pressure by pulling down first, oh. then lifting up. What did I say last time, eight and a half? That's like a 8.8. 8.8 .8. 8 .8 out of 10 on the pain scale for the Americana. Oh. All right, finally for the shoulder, we're going to go to one of my personal favorites for pain, being the monoplata. This is a lesser known shoulder lock that comes on with um, terrifying pain for a lot of scream taps. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> We're starting off oh. Oh. as if we're going for an omoplata. What my partner does though, is instead of allowing my leg to come out to where I need it, he keeps it stuffed right there. So what I'm gonna do instead is grab his elbow, keep his wrist locked, and extend straight oh. right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's for a twisting, tearing lock in the elbow up to the shoulder. It's around the... That's around an 8.9. 8.9, just about cracked the 9 for the monoplata. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, man. Sorry. All right, we've moved now from the shoulders onto the neck. And we're going to hit one that isn't legal in a lot of tournaments, being a neck crank. This one's called a bolt lock. How come it's not legal? <laughs> A regular triangle would be on this side. What I'm gonna do is switch my lock now onto this side because he's really defending this arm. And what I'm gonna do now is bring this hand palm away to the side of his head and this one's gonna meet the fingers and crush everything together. It's nice and tight. That one makes my ear hate my shoulder. That's a 9.4. <laughs> Keeping with the neck, we wouldn't uh, want to miss some of these nasty chokes. So we're cranking the neck on the last one. This one's a straight up attack on the trachea, being the Ezekiel choke. We're gonna hit it from mount, and coming under the head, and putting three fingers in our collar, or sorry, our cuff, putting three fingers in our cuff on this side, swinging this karate chop onto the trachea, and extending right here for the crush. It's like a nine. A nine for the Ezekiel choke. That hurts. Not only is it choky, it's squishy and ouchy. <laughs> You're almost there, Justin. You can do this. I can do this. You can do this. I can't do this. You can't do this. I can do We're going to do this. We're going on to the neck this time with one of my favorite and very uncommon chokes. This one you may not have been taught before. I've heard it called a five finger guillotine or a push choke. So what we're gonna do is set up his head in a regular guillotine here with the sharp blade of my forearm against his trachea. I'm gonna put my hand onto his shoulder or collarbone area and then flip my hand that's choking on top and pull back like it's on a rail. Oh, God damn. 9.9. 9.9 for the five finger or push oh. choke guillotine. <laughs> Oh, 
We're down to the last one on the list of the nastiest submissions in BJJ as rated by Payne. Our lovely assistant Justin here has made it this far, survived this long, and we've saved the best for last. This is the My Little Pony neck crank. From the back position, I have a seat belt, and my partner understands that this is the choking arm, so he's gonna grab it and put it over to the safe side here. So he grabs on, passes it over, and I'm going to bring around oh, oh. this direction onto the front of his throat, right about here. Oh. Cupping everything and leaning oh. back. Oh. Uh, I'd say that's like a nine. That hurt pretty good. This one gets a lot of panic taps because you feel like you might get, I don't know, paralyzed. <laughs> Do it again. Let's hit one more. It sounds so innocent. What do you call it? My Little Pony. My Little Pony. You know what, this one works even better with the body triangle. So we're gonna fall to the side. I didn't agree for you to make it worse. We're not only gonna get the body triangle, but I'm gonna take this foot and stick it under his leg right here. Come around under the oh. throat and give it a good oh. lean. Oh. Right under the jaw. That gets her to a solid 9.4, I'd say. 9.4 <laughs> for a nice body triangle. My Little Pony Neck Crank. Well, we did it. You made it, you survived. I'm impressed and a little disappointed, but we made it through the nastiest submissions in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as rated by Payne. I'd like to thank my volunteer, Justin, for uh, providing me his body and his nerve endings. And if you've got any questions or maybe you've got some nastier submissions that we haven't thought of, make sure to drop them in the comments section so that we can try them out on a later video. And make sure you subscribe so that you catch our videos as they come out. We'll see you next time.